Hello, my name is Dr. Blessing Ntamu and this is The Psychologist and the TV. Recently, we've been discussing certain aspects of cognition that predisposes a person to mental health challenges. Now, some of these aspects of cognition we've been talking about include rumination, cognitive distortions, automatic thoughts, and core beliefs. Today, we are going to be discussing automatic thoughts. We are going to try to explain what automatic thoughts are and give us some tips on how to overcome automatic thoughts and prevent the consequences on our mental health. So what are automatic thoughts? Automatic thoughts are immediate or sudden thoughts or images that pop up or just flash in our minds in response to an environmental event without any conscious effort on our part without us consciously thinking about it. So when an environmental event occurs, when something happens in your environment, automatically a thought just pops up, an explanation or an interpretation of that event without you really giving conscious thought to it, without any effort on your part. It pops up suddenly, you know, it's immediate. They are usually reflexive or impulsive in nature. For instance, you're driving on the road and it starts raining and immediately you think oh i need to drive carefully so that i don't i'm not involved in an accident you know now automatic thoughts can be either functional like the example i just gave or they can be dysfunctional and when automatic thoughts are dysfunctional they are usually irrational thoughts they are usually biased thoughts they are usually thoughts that are not based on facts but the individual completely believes these thoughts and they begin to influence the person's moods and feelings and eventually the person's reactions or behavior and tend towards mental health disorders like depression, like anxiety and other mental health disorders. Imagine for a moment that you send a text to a friend and the friend does not text back immediately. Automatically, you might think, oh, this friend doesn't even like me. Oh, this person doesn't even want to be friends with me. Why am I like this? Nobody likes me. It automatically just pops into your head. And you believe you might believe this thought and it will influence your reaction. So next time you see the friend, you might withdraw. But a functional automatic thought would be, oh, she might be busy at this time. She will text back later. People who are suffering from depression or mental health challenges often have dysfunctional automatic thoughts. Now, we all have automatic thoughts. But for some people, automatic thoughts are dysfunctional. And when they are this way, it is better to find a way to deal with them before they lead into mental health challenges. Sometimes they worsen mental health challenges. If you've watched any of my videos on stress or the amygdala hijack, you would know about, about autopilot or the inattentive mind. Now, automatic thoughts uh, can be conceived as suggestions from the inattentive mind or from our autopilot. They draw from our past experiences or our view of ourselves and the world around us. And what forms this view of ourselves and the world around us? Our social interactions from when we were little, from our, our past experiences. So these automatic thoughts, the most important thing to remember about them is that they are not true. They are not factual and you don't have to believe them. What are some examples of automatic thoughts that people have? I am no good. No one likes me. I am worthless. No one understands me. I always let people down. I am good at nothing. I can never get things right. I can never finish anything. Where do you think this kind of thoughts will come from? Perhaps you had a parent who said this kind of things to you whilst you were young. You heard these things being said to you a lot. Your mind internalizes them and they rest somewhere in your subconscious and they come up and then you, you based on this subconscious thoughts, you interpret events in this light. That's why we must be careful what we say to our children, how we interact with our children. Now, how can you challenge automatic thoughts? The first thing to do is to be aware of the automatic thoughts that you hold. And again, this might involve you having a thought diary, consciously trying to track your automatic thoughts. When you have tracked your automatic thoughts, though it may seem ridiculous, try to write some of them down. When you write these automatic thoughts down, usually automatic thoughts are connected to cognitive distortions. 
So you begin to identify the cognitive distortions to which they are linked and then begin to challenge those cognitive distortions by trying to find evidence that support or counter them. And then you can also come up with automatic thoughts that are alternatives to the dysfunctional automatic thoughts. So you come up with functional automatic thoughts that are alternative to the dysfunctional automatic thoughts. So whenever these automatic dysfunctional automatic thoughts pop up in your head, try to immediately counter it with the functional automatic thoughts that you have created. For instance, I'm good at nothing. You can counter it with I'm good at singing, I'm good at writing, I'm up to no good, no one likes me. And you can now counter it with so so people appreciate me, this person likes me, and stuff like that. If you do this over time, you begin to have your functional automatic thoughts more as interpretations or reactions to events than the dysfunctional automatic thoughts. I hope this has been helpful. If you haven't subscribed to The Psychologist NDTV yet, please do so, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.